Do you want to know how to edit or revise a listing on eBay? Keep watching. Guys, welcome back to Spoon Feeding Profit. This is Maria with another video. Remember to go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet for more content like this. Now let's get into it. So guys, we're on the eBay homepage. We want to get to the seller hub page. There's many ways to get there, but one of the simplest ways from the eBay homepage is just go up here to sell and just click on that. So it brings us to this page, which is where all your active listings are. You see over on the left hand side, it's already highlighted, we're on active. If it's, what you wanna do, up here you have the option of narrowing down your search. For example, you're trying to find a women's shirt. You don't wanna just go through here and just look, especially if you have a lot of items in your store. For me, I have 2,449 items. So I don't wanna go through there one by one. So you can have the option up here to narrow your searches down. So for example, you can narrow down your categories. I don't have any store categories, so I'll go over here to eBay categories and you know, just find the category of the item you wanna edit. So say you have stuff in, I don't know, golf. You just wanna click on golf and then you get out of there and then you hit search. So anything related to golf, which is not that much for me, you see how it narrows down the search from 2,400 and something items to five items. On your searches over here, you have the choice to choose if the item you want to edit or revise is a, a fixed price item or is it on auction, you have those options as well. I'm going to uncheck this. So down here you have item title, you can use that to narrow down as well. So say you choose item title, you see you have best offer, free shipping, and maybe the item you want to edit is on free shipping so you can narrow it down that way. Let's say we choose item title. Say the item I want to edit is a Talbot's women's clothing item. I can just put the word Talbot's in there and just hit search. And if you notice everything in the title is Talbot's, right? So in the same way, you don't have to put the brand name. You could just put skirts, for example, or shirts. It doesn't matter. And it will pop up all the skirts in your listing. So you guys get the gist, right? In the same way, if you had a golf club, if you had boats, whatever, you can put that in here and just narrow it down. So you don't have to use all of these, but you definitely have that option. A lot of times, I just I would just come to the item title it's usually defaulted I just come in here and put in whatever that title is and you hit search so for this example I'm going to show you how to edit an item say I go with this one here this $362 Talbot's women's brown check skirt suit so all you want to do is go on the left hand side where it says edit click on that and here it brings me to my listing so say for example I want to edit this title you can just go in here and you change whatever you need to change some of the most common things you might want to come into edit is a uh, title, maybe you found better keywords you want to use, maybe there's something you want to add to your description or delete from your description. Another thing is maybe you found out that, for example, this item is new with tags, but say I found a, a flaw on this item, I might want to change it to new with defects here, right? Say for example there's a tear or a stain or something just come in here and you change it over and your size maybe it's the wrong size you know whatever you can just come in here and just take out what it was here before and you just put what you need to put so for example I might want to come in here and change this to 99 bucks you can do that all right if you want to change say you found another one just like it and you want to change the quantity to two you know you found something identical same size same colors exactly the same item same condition you can just come down here to quantity instead of creating a whole other listing and add another one to it and the cool thing about it is, is there's no additional fee to revise your listing to make your listing better right whether it's better keywords whatever you want to change the price if you notice at the bottom here it says fees 0.00, .00. You are not charged to revise a listing or edit a listing if you're wondering. You can do it 50 times. You're not charged again to do so. All right, so you come in here pretty much and you change everything you need to change. Maybe you want to change shipping over here. You want to change it to free shipping instead. You can do that. So 
so that's pretty much it guys and then you come down here and you hit update listing there you go success you've updated your listing guys go ahead and hit the thumbs up button if this video was helpful subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet for more content like this this is spoon feeding profit remember to be kind out there